In recent years, there have been several reports bemoaning the number of closed shop units in Warsaw Town Centre. However, recently, one arts collective has found an innovative way to make use of the space and make the town centre much more appealing to visitors. We caught up with Gavin Lawley to find out more. Basically, uh, my name's Gavin Lawley. I run an artist collective called Direct Art Action. Uh, I'm partnered with a large art artist organisation from Leeds called East Street Arts. And together we produce uh, galleries, workspaces, uh, studios, uh, classes, uh, to encourage local artists and wider, wider field, even international artists, to come and work with us to show work locally in the Black Country and especially Warsaw, uh, where we've now got eight uh, galleries uh, working, so eight different locations uh, in two different shopping centres. So the Sadler Centre in Warsaw and the uh, Old Square Centre in Warsaw as well. So we've got a huge hub, so we've got lots of things going on, tons of artists uh, making all kinds of art. Uh, showing their work, doing demonstrations, do, running projects, uh, running classes, so lots of things going on. And we want more artists to come to us and we want more uh, people uh, to come and see what we're doing also and get involved in, in doing projects too. And basically it would be nice to see um, a lot more people you know, get involved in art and also see, get my own work recognised and um, yeah, hopefully, you know, they just give a bit more scope to also really. I don't know this area so much, but as I already didn't realize, it's not very artistic uh, area at all. So when I met Gavin in February, actually, I was very, very surprised to see something, you know, art in Warsaw. So I think it's a great idea. It's not simple. It takes time, but I think we should do it. I think things like this, um, to just be able to walk past and either just look in um, and see a bit of art or to come in and um, actually look around, it's not intimidating, it's very, um, you know, I think the shop, using shop spaces, empty shop spaces for this is a, a, a double benefit because it means the shop's just not, you know, that horrible depressing thing if you live in an area and there's loads of like sh shops, that's not, that doesn't make you feel good about yourself or your area. And there's a lot more socially engaged art that's sort of becoming more widely accepted now and kind of public engagement is coming a bigger part of artist practice but I think to actually genuinely really commit to that and really engage with it it's it helps if you're part of a wider project and so I would say you know to kind of find ways to integrate that into your practice that is authentic to you but meaningful to other people as well. One of the most exciting aspects of this project is a live performance area which is being built in the Old Square Shopping Centre. Right, so the, the Forks Bar will be uh, for film uh, and music, but the kind of music in the film, you, it's not sort of mainstream, so a lot of French noir, Russian avant-garde, black and white silent movies, uh, sci-fi, uh, a lot of art films, animation films, so lots of different films, we've got two floors for that, and then the, on the other side of that we've got the music, so jazz, flamenco, um, you know, all the different types of music which you don't normally get, international music, um, instrumental, so we've got stacks of stuff coming, lots of different artists who want to get involved in, in that space. This is Sam Davis for Big News.